Like, do we have some cat people in the audience? Yeah. You're all like, this is heavy. Okay, no, okay. This is what the other half of my day was. It was yelling at my kid, thinking about cats. Like, that's, there's no real good in between in my life. It's very, like, uh, okay, so, okay, cats. We made cats. Humans made cats. That's a thing that 5,000 years ago, Egyptians were like, let's take a tiger and make it tiny. And like, <laughs> we, we did that. Like, we kept breeding them down smaller and smaller and smaller. And then, and then we, we made a house cat. And then we watched it throw up a log of hair. And we're like, done, finished product, get it out the door. <laughs> Worship that little furball. They just like, they heard a poop, and they're like, oh, that's great. That's own a cat, like you hear the boom at 2 a.m., you're playing a game of Marco Polo with a tie stakes in a way you've never been. Like, find the cat, put it on some tile, fast, like, boom, like, no, ah. like, I don't, why don't we get, like, just, no to the Egyptians, give it a couple more spins, just, you guys can keep trying right now, like, find that type of cat that, I don't know, doesn't rub a tax on everything, just a thought, just some notes. machine wolves, then we shrunk them down into dogs, and then we said, let's give them jobs, let's make this one a fireman, let's make this one a police officer, let's make this one an emotional crux for white people, like, they've got things to do, like, they just, okay, I'm not gonna lie, we haven't hit it out of the park with, like, every dog, <laughs> when we hit Chihuahua, we probably should have backed up a couple steps, we were like, no, that's funny, keep that one, that's hilarious. Like, but the pug, like, okay, we made a dog with half a face and half a lung, and we just watched it wheeze over everything. Pug, pug is a mistake. That's like, a, a game of fetch with a pug is a death sentence for the pug. Like, like what are you trying to do to me here? Like, come on. Like, but, but like, the drop from wolf to pug is the exact same drop from tiger to every single cat. That's where the, every single cat is just an unathletic, just pile of mush and fur. They don't want to do anything athletic. There's no killer instinct left there. Like, dogs, though, are the epitome of athletic. They live for athletics. They are, in their hearts, every one of them, Airbud guys. <laughs> Airbud went pro in football. Airbud went pro in basketball. Airbud went pro in soccer. Airbud went pro in baseball. Airbud went pro in volleyball. We don't need to let humans go pro in volleyball. <laughs> okay, some of you were listening to that and realizing, oh damn, there are five Airbud movies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a dad. There are 14 Airbuds. 14. Yes. There are so many Airbud movies. You could string them together into an Airbud movie marathon, and it would be so long that I would kill myself. That's where I would go for that. I would hang myself. Little asphyxiation, or as I like to call it, no Airbud. <laughs> That's always a good supportive audience. They're like, yeah, suicidal dad! Yeah! Oh, all right, let's get that! Oh, no, no, you see, here's the funniest thing about suicidal dads. No, about Airbud. Uh, those nine movies that I'm not talking about are the Air Buddies. They're about his kids. Nine movies about his kids. They, like, they search for treasures and they save Santa. They have all these little misadventures. Everything except doing sports. <laughs> Nine movies, zero sports. Airbud is the most disappointed dad in the, history, in the history of film, guys. You know he's on the sidelines just like watching them come on hockey. You could have tried hockey. I didn't do it. You could have done that. Put some skates on. Call it five minutes for roughing. <laughs> Saying I have a lot of Airbud fan fiction. If anybody, if anybody wants to pick some up for me after the show, just meet me outside. I've got to do something with that time.